Um, oh, and there is no delay. How lovely. Beautiful. Versus two Masters Cup. Alrighty then. So in the south of our screen, just adjusting the scores before we commence. 1-0 up in this series, and we're now officially live in game two with Nagano and Scotch 1-0 up against, as you saw in game one, helping hands and crossfire. And the Twitch chat is currently a light with what these guys are currently thinking, what they're currently doing to get themselves ready to get back into this series, Ed. Yep, they must have had a, a good dusting off in the changing room at half time between that game. Uh, Keep this PG 13, Ed. That's the dusting off, joking. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just like they talk to each other, right? Okay, yeah, I'm yeah, with yeah. you. That's sorry, fine. Sorry, English term. English yeah, term. sorry. Yes, yes. <laughs> but yeah, no your audience, Ed. But uh, no, with helping hands across, they must have had some stern words in between game one. I hope they come out swinging for game two much stronger than game one because it seemed like they had the right ideas they just weren't committed they weren't confident in their own movements together and uh they really need to edit that for this game they need to be like the stern pioneers they're confident in their movements together they act as one and uh the, the tommies shoot them in the face with lee enfield rifles with alarming accuracy and then run away and get inside a house without losing a single soldier <laughs> not bad at all Sometimes the early game is just such, it may as well be called Company of Buildings, because if you hold key <laughs> buildings, you are going to get the W. But Hans got it last game and still managed to lose, so we'll see what happens here with Nagano's push here. Coming in, all at the same time, got fuel, got the connections, a good capping order for Hans, but he's leaving it to Crossfire to make an inroad. This is allowing Scotch to take the centre, um, and Nagano's just got to try and hold strong against this situation developing. Yeah, and an uh, interesting pickup already for Scotch. He's gone Soviets and not USF, so there we've got a diff go. different blend already of uh, the Allied factions. And that gives us uh, the following tactics. Shock motor, anti-infantry, and shock rifle. Oh, oh. Disgusting triple use of shots, but uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> they are strong, and guards have been, you know, sidelined this uh, this tournament. I haven't seen many guards at all. Yeah, Shock's all the flavour of the month, it seems. Definitely. Nice setup of the MG42 there in the centre. We've got one squad on loan from Hands to Crossfire, so just helping out there. Sturm Pioneers have only gotten one kill for two deaths now, so not trading very efficiently at all. And just trying to cap this victory point, putting a bit of sandbags down. He's going to swap over to taking the fuel next is Mr. Crossfire. And crucially, look at the who, t who picked what faction. Helping Hands is on the Austere, which I think is his strong donation. It's very good work with his support weapon play and uh, twinned with hopefully a later game Bumbar who can really do some damage. Certainly could. Um, he's already chosen by the way and he's already built. So we've got the Jaeger Light Infantry on their way from Overwatch Doctrine. Tracer here! <laughs> Is that a uh, Coco Jambo potential winner award already just by not picking special ops? Is <laughs> yeah, <laughs> de facto. I think he's on his way. <laughs> didn't use spec ops, gets uh, the non-meta award, amazing. Early Molotovs from the conscripts, liking it, liking That's it. That's an interesting choice, denying the building, of course. So we have, oh, here comes the Universal Carrier. Just going to push him in. Can he get inside the trench? Can he do it, Ed? I want to see it. I know he can't, but it looks like he can. <laughs> yeah, he can get, he can. Squidge in there, come on, lad. in there, come on. <laughs> <laughs> nice Overwatch flare there. I always show this for new players. Just how, look how much of the map that reveals. Yeah. Very powerful ability. Reconnaissance it grants. And then we check out the north. And Good. it's free as well. Every time you just decap a point. I mean, coming here is one you got booby traps with Panzer Elite, but you had to plant them on the point. Mm. Nice use of Molotovs. Not using them to kill, more to deny cover. Obviously, it didn't quite work on this one. <laughs> no, so I've got to come straight to you and shoot in the face with my car 98k. <laughs> MG on very low health. Look at how hands preservation he keeps units out on the field, backing up his other squads. Ooh, we've got a wasp. Very nice wasp. This morning I was waiting uh, with somebody whilst I dropped them off, and a wasp landed on my eye. Ed. I just had to stand there and take it like a man because if you move, <laughs> they'll sting you. Have you seen that Chris Eubanks meme where the first wasp of summer and he's dodging around like a <laughs> Oh, it's brilliant. 
<laughs> Sounds amazing. Ross are evil and no exceptions in this game. This no, this oh, thing I is a monster. <laughs> and uh, look at it, it's just driving over former soldiers. <laughs> oh, his own brethren. Oh. oh. How good you, Harry? I'm gonna crush a bit of the cover here. Yeah, Boss the South. That's good from Nagano with a shock unit. I wonder how uh, Crossfire's got to be thinking Puma immediately. No. Ooh. But the Wasp. Total is... Coco Jambo then. But the Wasp <laughs> is gonna have unlimited potential now. It's gonna boss the situation, right? He's gotta get a Viket and then I feel. He really has. Has uh, he got one yet? No. No Regeneri. The but they're not going down south for a long time now. The Wasp is gonna dominate. And no wasp was used from last game, if I remember right. No, no, of course not. No, so he opted not for the UC at all. So he went straight for the AEC, if I remember, which got taken out hard countered by an early puma. It did, yeah. Obviously, you have a delayed puma. Here we go, though. We do have Panzerfaust, of course, but the wasp is reversing away, annoyingly. It's got to protect that uh, battle HQ, though. Is it up? Or... Oh. Uh, yes, he yeah, is. Yeah, uh, he's going safe. straight for healing, Ooh. which I think will work for both players. But I'll tell you one thing: um, Scotch and Nagano are formidable user users of allied artillery when they play rails and metal in tournaments. So I'm looking at the potential for that. Um, not yeah. so much from Scotch. Of course, he will be getting the ISU one five two. Nice choice. But um, we could be seeing something similar from Nagano. Perhaps so we'll have to wait and see. And such as the the narrowness of the map of Katusha really does work. Here, so. Katusha could be the uh, not good Scotch. option. Yeah. Well, it depends on the CP management, really, how how much action is happening in this game for any new players. There's, there's resources in this game, of course, but if you see the little dials on the left-hand side under the players' names, they are command points, and as you rack up those command points, you get access to new abilities and units. So yeah. you have to keep that in mind with your timing windows. Oh, nice Faust there. Just in time, perhaps. Is... Helping Hands now feeling confident. We saw him not go for a sniper as the counter in the previous game, which for me personally indicated lack of uh, confidence in this series at that point in time. So for right now I'm going to want to see um, taking advantage of no British um, handheld AT at this point. Well, we do have the sappers actually, I take that back. But um, still, a nice foray with a 2-2-2 two -two -two to take out the stricken wasp would have been nice. What are your thoughts about that, Ed? Yeah, good early 2-2-2 two -two -two time, six minutes, but... Uh Nagano hasn't gone for the AC yet, which he could have had by now. So I think that 2 2 is going to have a nice little timing window. Oh, oh, there it is. It's locked in now, the AC. <laughs> <laughs> I spoke to CD. Certainly. What do we have coming out? Ah, it's the Raketan. So both teams are getting what they need, which is all well and good. We got our first squad wipe, possibly. Oh, gets beyond this little bit of green cover here. No, doesn't matter. As soon as he gets around the cusp of the green cover and these guys were in this position they took him out. I've seen it in the past as well, you can shoot the flamethrower off the back of the flamer model and it survive. I've had that. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's a chuck the keyboard down the window moment. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily I was on a laptop so. <laughs> Smash your uh, your laptop like angry German kid then. <laughs> nine, nine, nine. <laughs> Very early on to have to buy a raquette, and that was from gritted teeth from uh, Crossfire, but it, it was very much needed, so. So, the Wasp has done what we thought it would do, which is deny area, but it's not actually gotten many kills. 2-2-2 um, two, two, is now plinking away. He's threatening an 18 and he does have them, so it is not uh, a fakey, it's not a gambit. A bluff, that's the word I wanted. Yeah, yeah. Nice dodge of the rifle nade there, no, no silly squad wipes on that one. Shock poop's doing well. Doing very well. Here come the conscripts getting within range, just about, maybe, no. Oh, Sebastian pushed that, it's just... Again, Nagano and Scotch, with their synergy, their kind of otherworldly connection with one another, they're able to just move as one and acts as a huge fighting force that just sweeps their opponents off the map. And then they backpedal, they get behind green cover, they wait for their teammate to arrive. Doesn't even have, they don't even have to ask for it, probably. Oh, JLI's low! JLI's low! Oh, it's just got the, the medium cover of that gully. Captive Reliant. Snare 2 2 2 is in a bit of trouble, eh? It is, and here comes the AC. Misses its first shot, hits the green cover. Raquette and Verfa was waiting. Gonna have to backpedal and pop smoke. Helps out Raquette and Verfa. We had a Faust? No, not gonna get the kill. Couldn't get that attack round off, that would be 9k IQ beyond max range if it, if it had been. But yeah, Brits in green cover. 
strongest houses. Oh, yeah. They really are. And uh, you just have to play them, though. You have to get them in the position. I mean, we saw Helping Hands have the same faction in the previous game, but, you know, the sniper just wouldn't have helped should he push this far forward. Imagine if Tommies were here in the previous game. They would have been headshotted. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And that is why, in my opinion, well, let's not go over old ground. Let's focus on the current situation, I guess. Yeah. No sniper from Hands, right? I haven't seen one yet. I think he's got one in the room. Wasp still with two kills, but people use kill kills as misnomer sometimes, as I've already mentioned. Area denial is a powerful tool. I think uh, they need a serious dosage of captive oh, peace for the, yeah. for the axes, because this is going to get desperate again, and they're just putting themselves under more pressure. Well, they're already but confirming that they're not going to have victory point control in the final game in this rate, should they get to it, pretty much. Unless they have some... Unless they do really well in games three and four that is I mean, i'm already talking about this as a loss but <laughs> i shouldn't be but it certainly feels that way let's see if i'm wrong maybe they just need a new map <laughs> t70 forced away oh hits the green cover again saving so many vehicles let's check out the action over here grenz were low ac goes in for a parting blow can he get it no, no. safe <laughs> that's it's like a baseball slide there but wait access rop so how are access no, 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 no. Um, Solve the mystery. Yeah, it's amazing. It's like almost as though if you play well with allies, you can win and maybe... Blasphemy. It, maybe the game isn't already decided before you load the game up. Maybe, I just don't know. How is it working out? I don't know. I think um, I think Crossfire and Hands need to group up together. They've got to do a combined bush now. Just get one side. It, this is a bit better. They've got their field. They've got one VP. You can bleed on uh, two to one... Oh, oh wow. Threatening the uh, just areas of Nile and just excellent synergy. I mean, that sy word synergy gets overused in 2 versus 2 casting, but I can't think of a better word for it. The cohesion, the teamwork, yeah. uh, the it's timing. Almost, it's almost telepathic. They don't need to ask for help. They're already there helping. That's beautiful. There we go. Folks, ready to low. Conscripts could get some cheeky mods on the gun. It's in. Are they going to get it? This guy's super low. He needs to focus fire. He's seen it a bit late. Oh, Gold score. Great MK cons. Do it. Can they do it? The nope. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I think the Gorno got it. Yeah. These guys were facing the wrong way for a lot of that. <laughs> All right, step aside, cons. We got this. Yeah, we got this. <laughs> Seems good. Nice, nice pick up there from the Ghana, and if you notice as well, the Brits could stay on the front line with their mobile healing. Of the Ooh, this is nice. Oh. Just got a little bit of a truck kill, was it? Oh, that's savage. Why is there an AC and a base at 12 minutes in? <laughs> <laughs> Can't be going well, Ed. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, big artillery blaster takes out something or other. Hands Another one. To Oh, Hans needs to act up to his name and help the crossfire. His base is getting raped. Oh, we, we used the word explored in okay, a, a Relic okay, Entertainment yeah. channel casting. It's explored or in, inspected. <laughs> okay, base inspection. Base yeah. inspection, that's the one. Tightrope taught me that. Big shout out to Tightrope. Because somebody we're, could have uh, consented to it, I guess. So. Exactly. Well, um, tight, we were having a big meeting before anniversary casting and uh, we were asking what terms can we use. Tightrope yeah. <laughs> Ice inspection, mate. Nice, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Good happy there. Grenz. Oh, Ooh, this could be good. This could be way back in. Killing all those Royal Engineers. Minus Except one. Well, one. I don't think that's going to be the remedy, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> it's the start of the greatest comeback you've ever seen. I Look believe. at their armies, though. They still have decent armies. They yeah. lost too much. And they've got the most glorious of skill planes as well, if they get that far. Those Dukas really do line it up. I think they, they give a strafe of infantry and also anti-tank. Certainly. We've got some good positioning from Helping Hands. Oh no, Crossfire rather with the OK Belish Fair Fans headquarters. Uh, covering one victory point. So they're going to be in this game for a long time. They're not going anywhere easily. And what I like about this game is we might see the potential of Obus Adam. We're going to see some possibly JP4s or Panthers from uh, Crossfire if it gets into the late game. You know, it's a bit of it's a bit of a change, thank God, from uh, the command panel. Certainly, <laughs> it just changes the rhythm of things, makes things a bit fresher. Yeah, I've seen a lot of AT guns though, and I did call out that I thought Nagano and Scotch is ace in the hole as allies on crossing on um, 
Rails and Metal was the indirect fire. I've seen a lot of priest usage in the past. Oh, T70 dodges just about there. Rakenvo's going to line up another shot. Yes! Oh, great takedown. I can't ever catch them working together. Oh my god, they're doing it, today. They're finding <laughs> their rhythm. And they've got the... Oh, they've got the VP drain on the allies now. Let's see the... Whoa, look at the fuel time. You know, Nagano is saving up for something. Scotch is... I don't know what Scotch is doing, actually. He's, he, well, he's like a kid in a candy shop. Two and seven CPs, you know. I mean, he might as well get something else in the meantime. Mm. But will he get tier four? I mean, we'll have to wait and see, I guess. This is the little, it, these are the little inches that win the war. Good push off there from the JLI. Just making sure there's not a decap for no reason. Of the mid VP there. Just can't push forward quite yet. Might be waiting for something to help save the day. Oh no, he's, ah, I see. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Does this count as a base inspection if your base is halfway up the map? <laughs> no, it certainly doesn't. No, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, we've got the ISG repositioning. We're pushing up with a line of support weapons helping hands. This is what he's good at. Oh, this goes down something goes down. The edge of the screen there. Oh, the sorry, sorry, my bad. Helping hands. Yikes. He loves those 2 2 2s. He, he likes the AA it provides and the, and the glorious vision of that too. He's so vulnerable now. Nice artillery attack in the center here. Again, area of denial. God, this is a proper slugfest, isn't it? Not many Volks Grenadiers to get into the later rounds as well for crossfire. Might need to consider getting some more infantry presence. Forcing their way through that line of support weapons with artillery. Who would have thought thought it, right? This is the Endura fire. It's coming in in big oh. waves. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. A bit like the... Um the IST commanders. Do you know what's saving the sphere at the moment? The elevation over this uh, brow of the hill there. If you if you scroll down, you can see it. Ah, you yeah. see that it's hitting a lot. Point, it's a difficult point. shot to get in. Yeah, AT guns hate elevation. They really do. Ooh, another inspection, by the way. Oh my god. That was a ballsy swear if I've ever seen one. That was <laughs> really is. We say now, guns and crossfire needs to be aggressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're losing Rakenva for that. That's not going to help. I think it was good use of the, the flares and the artillery from Nagano there. Just on his infantry section, he's got artillery running around mobile. Access to it. There we go again with the red smoke. We've got some choices. Oh, it's the Katusha! We said that! I said these guys loved the indirect fire, and you were like, the only thing they'll have is the Katusha. You were covering for me at the time. <laughs> um, but that's what they brought in. Random lucky prediction, but yeah, he's gone for it first before any other tank, so. Well, you might as well, because the amount of support weapons hands and crossfire have built. This is a GO80 container. Oh, oh, grenade. That's, a, that's the point I was making. This is a <laughs> great end of all time grenade. The great look, at, edge, yeah. oh, look at them. No. That's like something from uh, Game of Thrones. You know when they make that sculpture of bodies on the ground? <laughs> I didn't oh, actually watch these rockets. Oh. Oh. Wow. Survives the catty rocket. Lonely trip back to base, but at least he's alive. Great air of denial from that machine. Possibly the best. I think it's the best rocket. Look at I this. just think uh, Stu can take Look at this. He's no. going for annihilation. <laughs> oh, we've got a flank, though. Panzer IV comes to save the day. AC's got to get out of there. He's got to pop smoke. That is extreme BM from Nagano. That was <laughs> a base down. occupation, not an get inspection. Here we go. Oh, AC's got to go though. down. There we go. There we go. Good Good Oh, look at this! Three AC, eh? Could Nagano's be, could now be disconnecting back. their territories. I don't think I've seen this with Axis on rails and metals before. Being pushed this far back. This these, is desperate times now. These guys want that Mueller, you know. I always mention this about Russia and the Russian players. A thousand dollars each per player. Um, that's a lot of money to anybody, but especially in Russia with the ruble to conversion, etc. It's a heck ton of money. So, and Nagano is one of the greatest players of all time. His uh, partnership with Scotch is, uh, I'd say, GOAT territory. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, he's playing well today, and he's got fire in his belly. I like it. And how long, you, you're very good with the history of the players, eh? how long have these guys been playing together? Was it, was it Five the Co-1 thing? Five years. Co I'm not so, okay. sure it goes back to Co-2. Nagano played with other people back then. Uh, but Nagano's been playing 2v2 and 1v1 for ever, seemingly. <laughs> I'm not well and then I think his partnership with Scotch dates back to the early days of Co-2 more so. Yeah. 
They've just got a really good understanding when to push together, when to hold a point together. And that's just represented by the DP control. Oh yeah. Just pushing forward to the shocks now. Schwer still alive thanks to the elevation. Shocks with a cheeky grenade. Meanwhile, let's check out the south for a change. Um, Pioneers gonna have a tricky engagement to say the least. That's the north. Last bastion of uh, BP control for the Axis. Oh, here it comes. Now. We can see those rockets. We know where they're gonna land. We don't even have to look. Oh, oh. that's a good one. Schwer's gonna go down. Oh, brutality. And here's another Panzer to save the day. Schwer is indeed down. Panzer's jumping in, but there's an AT gun waiting. Second shot penetrates. Firefly <laughs> waiting. Don't say penetrates with hands in games. <laughs> oh god, because every shot indeed. <laughs> but did, did you see the AT gun? Oh, oh people goes down, but the, the AT gun as well was hard killed. That is, can't even be recruited. I'm not surprised if we see a rage quit in this game. We so need a new map. They need a new map, like no tomorrow. But they're now going to be entering a new map situation where their teammates only need to get one kill. They need to get three in a row to win yep. the match and commence. And don't forget, these guys will. Whoever loses this series will be back again tomorrow, same time tomorrow, for a best of um, five third place playoff for two hundred dollars per teammate. So they don't get. The, nobody here is guaranteed money ticket today. The fourth place team will walk away with nothing. You oh. get zero. <laughs> oh, here comes the SU85. Have gone on supermarket sweep. <laughs> and he's out of there. Oh. <laughs> they didn't even wait for the out of control, Eddie. Good pick up. So they got the they got the artillery to bong all the infantry and the support weapons, and then backed it up with tank destroyers. That's evil. Badass. And look at Nagano. <laughs> look at him. He don't care. But what a bro of Crossfire to come over, build your battle group headquarters for your teammate over on his flank. I, I can see his thoughts train, but yeah, it just hasn't worked out for him. I think Crossfire needs to just tell Hans where to shove it, really, and say, right, look, you look after your side, I've got to get on with my side, and we'll make it 2 1v1s and see how they like it. Because yeah. this, this strategy hasn't worked out. It's even and, more. Well, every decision strategically has been um, less than desirable. Or, or you could put a positive spin on it and mm. say that the decision making. Of Nagano and Scotch in terms of build order has been impeccable. Oh yeah, and the timing windows and the the base inspections, everything has been good. Oh, just just follow the journey. You've got this two kill, three star veterans, universal carrier. That was area denial from the get go. Katusha was perfectly timed, countering them deliciously. Everything they've built has been on time and in the right place. Yeah, yeah, not not taking away anything from the from the Allied amazing play into this game. But I'm just thinking for the game three, for the fans, for the viewers, they're gonna want to see something changed up at least. I think Crossfire just needs to come into his own a bit more uh, and, and really put some pressure on, go forward on his side. Oh, because uh, if they don't, this match will be over just as quick as game two was. Versus two Masters Cup. Go back, go back. So there we go. Um, nice little game two there, showing how to play two versus two. It's a tutorial video. Axis <laughs> yeah. OP, then Allies OP. Hmm. Ooh, maybe Nagano and Scotch OP. Queen. How does this work? <laughs> we just don't know. How do you beat this team, though? I, I'm running out of ideas for game three for Crossfire and Hans. I hope they're not. But uh, the Allies again, a different map, eh? It's got to be a different yep. map. Well, it is a different, different map. map. Yeah. So there, there's a bit of a uh, bit of hope for the hands and crossfire fans out there. So let's see what they can do game three. Because look at Scotch's damage doubled almost. Oh, by let's Nagana. show this. Let's show this. Yeah, yeah let's show yeah. the stats. People love the stats. Um, that is pretty impressive. Nagano just absolutely dominating. A lot of people felt he would have, may have been a contender to win GCS two, the last big tournament we had. Um, uh, but he couldn't fly over due to visa issues. This, of course, is an internet-based tournament, so he's he's in his element. He's dominating. He's proud. Um, let's check out what uh, their best units were. Scotch, Nagano. Oh, look at that. Wow. That's better than some four v four teammates, you know. Just yeah. one one unit type. Infantry section doing work. Half of his team's damage. Crossfire. Yep. 
And, Couldn't uh, get going with the, with the vehicles. Oh, that's not good for the Hansi, man. Um, no. Let's but see. They went for an interesting strat. Crossfire sacrificed a lot by going completely over to his teammate's side to uh, place down that battle grouper. We didn't see the, the meta command pamper with no. uh, spec ops, and I think it just got punished here. It just shows how needed it is in this mixed faction 2v2. You can certainly see that the Garnish Preservation was through the roof as well, so not only is damage, but look at that uh, preservation. Points held. Crossfire was too busy building trucks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Truck simulator. Trucks. Even had one taken out in his face. That was oh, harsh. that was yeah, that was hard, hard stuff. Um, it's a very amusing chat. I can see all that. There's some spam. I uh, don't know what it's saying. I don't, I don't know. What are young means. viewers today? Lily's <laughs> 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 baby face is me after the enforced shave. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I got shaven, son. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Ed are gonna so go make up. make a make a hot drink. We'll be back in two minutes just to chat with you guys. We presume the players are gonna have a little bit more of a break this time, maybe five minutes. So in two minutes time we'll be straight back with you. Hang on.
me and Ed are having a nice cup of tea waiting for the uh, net game three to start. Some Tetley's, I think it was. I believe so. Pretty good, pretty good. Ah, they're on the veto stage. Excellent. Good old cartoon tea. You can tell us it's Saturday afternoon and stalk. <laughs> <laughs> tea or something stronger. Yeah. Or just tea. <laughs> <laughs> probably got some whiskey around here to Irish it up. But yeah, just waiting for uh, game three to get on the way with the vetoes. Yeah. <laughs> new map, new hype. Oh yeah. Let's try and get a at least uh, to the game four scenario. Apparently. I don't want to see a three 0 don't you? No, it's too. I kind of like it, the idea of it, not because I'm anti helping hands and crossfire, just because I like a good. I, I like a good fight. Like, I don't want to see Tyson Fury. But don't Tom you remember Shaw like seven one Germany Brazil? It was like Brazil lost like seven one. Yeah, it makes a it's good kind of goals highlight reel, but <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of like <laughs> drama, isn't it? It's drama. But these are the best of the best. I want to see a good fight back from uh, hands and crossfire. We'll see. We'll see. I like it. I like it. I think it's because you're you're only casting two series, and I've got the final to come tomorrow. Yeah. So the back of my have... mind, like, oh, yeah, start the day off with like a killing. <laughs> Give us blood. <laughs> Gonna have a mute day at work on Monday, I think. I love you. <laughs> you have no voice. Can you sing the theme for this tournament? There is no theme for this tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next time on my channel, something. Uh... <laughs> Give us the musical intro. -y. Maybe later, maybe we'll, we might have a post uh, no, postcast I've stream. I've got to ban you from playing and singing. Jesus. What are you trying to say? Oh, oh, this guy. It's a good job of poison your tea. <laughs> yeah, it kicks in though in two hours, so you've still got me for a bit. Right. But yeah. How's everyone feeling with the uh, the old strats so far? Where do, where do you think it's going wrong for the. For hands and crossfire, or where do you think it's going well for Nagano? Let us know in the in the chat. Yeah, let's have Put some let's have some there. honest debate here. I don't want memes this time and uh, baby rage on the phone. Ed, it's all your fault. Ed, <laughs> look, I know I shaved, but I'm not a baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a boomer. <laughs> uh, Charlie Foster Kane asks a historical uh, conversation: Could the Allies win World Two if Germany never attacked? The Soviets. Well, it wouldn't have been World War Two anymore, would it? It would have been an alternate reality Charlie Foster Kane war, and uh, it was always the objective of the Nazis to defeat the communist Soviets. So that makes no sense. There you go. I don't want to get into it too much. Obviously, it's really extreme, but I do love my uh, history. I'm not a big fan of alternate history. I must admit, though. I remember your old Tiger book or whatever. You I have. still got it. Oh, I still got it. Uh, I've got some really uh, newbish. Uh, Grab one of those books. Some of them are really funny. I don't have real history oh, books. I have like Dorling get... <laughs> Kinsley. No, honestly. Uh, no I've magazines, got aircraft just books. Book. This, is, this is my level of history knowledge, right? <laughs> Grab the aircraft one or something. Oh, the Tiger one's just next to it, actually, I think. Nah, it's alright. But anyway, I have like children.